you, so today I'm here to unbox some stuff. Let's do it together. So first let me introduce myself. I'm Christina, I'm 25 years old. I will be 26 in a month or so. Uh, I love fantasy books uh, with a little bit of romance inside because well, I feel like it spices it up a bit. This is my first video in English, so bear with me and please correct me in the comments if I say anything wrong so I can improve myself in the next few videos. So, we're here to unbox All Crate and Loom Crate, but let's start with All Crate first. This is the January box. So, the theme of the month was Courting the Fae, and it's really exciting. This is the spoiler card, this is the uh, beautiful artwork. And let's see, we open it and we see this beautiful stuff. First of all, is this little cute. Let's see what's the, you, oh, the tape measure, you guys. This is really helpful when you want to buy um, clothes from Sane, for example, or um, if you want to buy anything online, because you have to, you know, uh, measure your body sizes. So this is very helpful. And it says everyone in the forest waited with an indrawn breath waiting for the taste of autumn so beautiful you guys this is inspired by the enchantment of ravens next up is this little cute envelope see like that treasure tomes limited edition pink collection oh, the cruel prince one of 12 january 23 you guys this is incredible oh my god this is so beautiful and you oh no wow look at that so this is the front and then you open it and look at what's inside. This is amazing. I hope one of the beans be inspired by Sandu Hunters because Sandu Hunters um, is my favorite fandom and I, I can't, I can't. So next up we have this amazing tote bag. Ooh, this is something new. This is very nice. Oh, this is incredible because yes, finally, you can close your tote bag and keep everything safe in here. This is incredible because I always wanted to go out with my tote bag and, um, you know, have my wallet, have my phone, have my AirPods. I was always afraid that in the metro, um, the subway, um, maybe someone try to steal my wallet or something so now that I can close my bag um, and keep everything safe well I will definitely use this one so let's see what it says it says find a selection in the fairy realm Duarte and Greenbrier booksellers <laughs> amazing Isle of Izmir Elfheim new and second hand this is really cute you guys this is inspired by the Cruel Prince. So far, I love this box. Then, we have these little boxes here. Well, not little, big boxes. Okay, so first we have this one, Flora and Fate. And it says that it's a travel mug, really helpful. So you can take your coffee with you. Ooh, this is nice. This is beautiful, you guys, look at that. You open and here you can close it, you can have your hot coffee or hot chocolate or everything. Cold coffee too. Well, a friend espresso will be nice here, you know, you can have your straw here. Fear is a seed, my love. It can grow from pain or anger or it can grow from something else. Hope, love. This is incredible. Look at it. So beautiful, you guys. This is amazing. Well, next up we have this cute box right here, Court of Dreams, display board. Okay, oh, this is inspired by A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Maas. We all know that book. And ooh, 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 yay, what's that? So we have these two stuff here. Okay, we have this pen, which is white. Okay, let's see. All right, down here something. Oh, yay. Uh, I don't know how this works exactly, but I guess you put it here. No, no. Let's close this. Okay, we have um, an little sponge so we can erase everything we have written. 
So this is the front, I guess, and this is the back. No, no. Okay, I will check that out and then I, I will have a clip showing you how it works because now <laughs> I don't know. And then we have the book of the month, which is The Buried and the Bound. Whoa, look at that cover. We don't have sprayed or stenciled edges. Mm, this is kind of sad because I always love when books have sprayed edges and all crave and do all crave do them so well, so well. We have this um, little beautiful artwork which will go here on my wall next to cardan or here. I don't know. Mm, maybe there. Yeah, maybe there. So. You understand power, all living things do, all dead things too. Amazing. Let's see how it looks inside. Ooh, amazing artwork. Look at that. And let's see the back. Wow. Ooh, so beautiful, you guys. Look at that. Look, this is amazing. And let's see. Oh, wow. Wow, look at the actual hardback. Oh my God, wow. You were all the magic I ever needed in the front, in the back. The book is the property of the Bridget Bishop <laughs> Memorial Library. Wow, you guys. Signed, the letter is inside. This is very beautiful. Um, let's see if there is a map or something. So this is the first page and no, there is no map. We start with Tristan and we have a beautiful art right here under the chapter one. This is, this is really good, you guys. This is amazing. This is, this is really beautiful. But my favorite part of the book is this. This is amazing. This is beautiful. If there were um, sprayed edges or stencil edges, it would be Seth's kiss. Let's move on to the books. I have bought three books. Two of them arrived uh, last week and one of them I bought it from my bookstore here in Greece. And I'm really excited to, to read it, but um, some people uh, tell me that it's a really heavy read, but I'm willing to try it out. And I'm talking about The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. Um, I want to read more about Sylvia Plath because I have found some uh, quotes or poems on the internet and I was thrilled. I love them. I, I even put it in my own book. I have written two fantasy books, two fantasy romance books. Um, so yeah, that's for another day. And yeah, I, I love her. And I thought, why? I haven't read anything by Sylvia Plath. So here's the tense. And then I finally got Saint of Thorns by Cassandra Clare. Cassandra Clare is my favorite author of all time. I love many. Holly Black, uh, Victoria Averyad, Susan Collins, of course, um, Elle Kennedy. Um, I love many authors, but Cassandra Clare always has my heart, always is the best choice, the, the easiest choice for me. The, it's my auto buy author. Um, so yeah. I'm really excited that this game I have already uh, read it though in the ebook form, but yeah, I'm really excited to have it in my hands, you guys. I love her, so yeah, it's finally here. And the other book I bought is the graphic novel of the Mortal Instruments. This is volume six, which is the second part of the third book in the um, series. So I love, I love this book. Book three of the series, it's my favorite of all time. I adore it, I love it. So I'm so happy to finally, you know, have the book here, the graphic novel here. I love the sketches, I love the funny moments because Jace always has <laughs> the best lines, Valentine too. I adore the romance and yeah. That's all. So let's see the Illumicrate unboxing, which I filmed um, another day. January box of Illumicrate journeys and ta -da! let's see what's inside. The first thing is this little bag. Ooh, ooh. It's inspired by book eaters. Um, it looks nice. It looks cute. Very nice. Next up, we have this little envelope. 
card holder. Let's see what's inside. Oh, so this is for your uh, cards. And it says, I won't buy any more books. Lying. That's so true. So next up, we have this wonderful um, box. Let's see what's inside. It says, Cutlery Kit, inspired by Lord of the Rings. Ooh, and it's like this. We have a fork and a spoon and a knife, which is all gold and some straws, reusable straws. This is, this is really, oh no, it's not, oh no, it's not a straw. It's, ah, uh, it's for eating your sushi. This is really cute. Ooh, we have a wooden map. Let's see where it's inspired. Dave and Bad Wooden Map. Oh, uh, this is inspired by City of Brass. Ooh, I haven't read the books, but this would definitely be helpful when I do. Next, we have this cute bag. Ah, when you go shopping or you have a few things you want to hold or when you are um, out, outside running. Inspired by Book Eaters, the Book Eater Society. With books, not brains. <laughs> this is nice. Next up, we have a letter from the author, which is Hannah. A really cute design, very nice. And let's see the book of the man, which has dark blue sprayed edges and oh no oh look at that look how beautiful this is this is extremely beautiful you guys and this is the book of the month which says god killer by hannah Kanner, if i say that right and the cover is inside look at the design and signed by the author the first page is this and we go on we have the wonderful map look at that excellent design and we start with the prologue 15 years ago let's see the dust jacket i think it's yeah there is no art on the dust jacket but we have art on the actual hardcover and look at that so pretty you guys this is really beautiful look at the uh look at the art at the chapter i see that they have multiple posts it's a fantasy book maybe a, a bit of romance um maybe an enemies to lover that's what i sense from the synopsis magic dark magic gods and secrets and kingdoms well it sounds extremely amazing to me that's all you guys so we have the book we have the card holder we have the wooden map which is very beautiful we have this cutlery set and then we have the bag which is very helpful in your travels and this pencil case so you can travel with your art supplies and be safe and keep them all together so it was a nice box that's all for you guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up, maybe subscribe to my channel. I will try to do more uh, video in English. I want to have uh, a Greek content and English content too. So I will try that. Comment below what was your favorite item from the old crate box or the Illum crate box. And I will see you next week. Bye.